Hello everyone, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. And I am here with a flip through of July through to December in my Hobonichi cousin. And I always love this because I get to look back through and see all of the spreads that I've done for the second half of the year. First off, this is a cover from Hobonichi. It's the Anemone. Oh, I think all the information is actually here. It is a Mina Perhonen cover, and this is the Anemone cover as well. So one of my favorite covers. Absolutely love this. I used this last year as well, and it's just, it's actually holding up pretty well. But then again, I don't take my planner out and about. This normally stays home. So in terms of my planner, there is the front page where I just decorated it with my name done by according to Allie and then some florals that I'd done in my shop. Same watercolor florals as well here. I kept it very simple for decoration. And then I had covered up all the dates with dates from Planner Monkey Co. This was supposed to be a habit tracker. And as you can see here, I did not use this at all. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with certain parts of this being empty because I think I was getting to the point where I needed to really figure out what I wanted to use every portion of this planner for. So nothing there, nothing there. And then we have the monthly pages. These are the pages that I use for social media and for pre-planning as well. On the side here, I write down what stickers I'm using each week. And I normally like to match them between my Hobonichi weeks, my cousin, as well as the daily spreads. So this is also where I keep track of all of my social media. So you'll see IG and YouTube. And I decorated this month with my tea and macaron collection from June. Then we have my watercolor iris for August and I love the deep bold colors of this collection. Really really pretty. There's some smudging in there from the inks that I used but overall I really love how this one came out. I really love that yellow. Love that yellow. Then for September we have the watercolor hydrangeas and I had so much fun being able to actually painting those because I remember the first time I tried painting hydrangeas, they did not turn out well. And then these ones turned out really, really beautifully and I was happy with those. Then we have my watercolor pumpkins for October. I like this one, gourd vibes only. And then my watercolor poppies for November. And I really, I don't know if I've said this enough, but I really enjoy using the monthly spread for social media. I like having all of both Instagram and YouTube visible over the course of a month. I don't keep track of anything else such as affiliate or, or anything like that or TikTok or whatever. My main, I guess, social media focus is Instagram and YouTube and seeing it like this is really, really helpful for me. I used to plan in a separate planner just for social media and that just became too much whereas this is just the perfect amount that I need. And then we have December with my gingerbread collection. Very light on all of the colors because I really wanted to try and use some of the, the new dots that I had incorporated into the collections. Then January for 2024, just doing some pre-planning there before I transferred to the Sterling Ink Planner in 2024. Last week of June into the first couple days of July, obviously not anything there. And then we have the first weekly spread using my strawberries collection. I really liked how I added the to-do lists here, but you'll notice in my weekly spreads that I don't use them as much as I would like to. They do end up a little bit empty. This is the July collection from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. I purchased her luxury advent calendar in October or November of 2022 and used it all throughout 2023. And I did this and I actually purchased her most recent one and cannot wait to use it in 2024. Then we have stickers from According to Allie. As you can see, I decorate the spread, but I, I don't really get into using it. And I'm not sure what kept me or what prevented me from actually filling out my day today. I don't even have the sleep tracker in here. I think I just got into a rut where I decorated it, but didn't really refer back to my weekly pages. Then we have stickers from the Giving Girl and then that's washi from the washi tape shop. And again, very blank. And you know, after I had put in my initial planning in here, 
as I went through the week, it kind of just got neglected. And then we have my journaling collection or no, the, yeah, this is the journaling collection. And I really, really love this one, especially the, the pens here and the pens here. But as you can see, again, not using it as much as I could be. And I was, tr I was struggling with how I was using this as well as the daily pages. Then we have stickers from the Winterfield Studios. Really, really pretty actually. Very light though. I think I go back and forth between liking the really neutral spreads versus really bright and colorful. Then this is the week that the kids and I were in Ottawa. So of course I used travel stickers from According to Allie. And when I'm traveling, uh, I leave the spread pretty open and then I do get into filling in what we do on a day-to-day -day basis because that helps me in terms of memory keeping, but also helps me fill in my daily pages later on. Then we have the August stickers from Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop from her luxury advent calendar and these hexagon stickers are from According to Ally, and then that's the weekend I was also in San Francisco. Then we have more stickers from The Giving Girl. I love her artwork and all the different colors and trying to match ink colors as well. I don't remember every single ink color that I've used, but it is, I kept track of most of them in here, but not all of them. They're in my ink journal. <laughs> then we have my watercolor leaves, which these were so, so fun to paint and then to make them into stickers. I really loved being able to do that. Then we have coffee stickers from According to Allie. I love Allie's artistry and her, her, her stickers in general. They're just so fun to be able to put into a spread. Then we have, uh, yes, these are from Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop for her September collection. This was a very blank spread. Once I decorated it, I didn't refer back to it. And I think I was struggling with that come September, October, and even November. And December, I started getting back into being able to fill these out. Then we have The Giving Girl, and I loved using this ink, and I think that's what motivated me to fill this in more. This was Diamine Ink Vent Olive Swirl, and I loved using this ink. It was just so fun and so shimmery and oh, fun, fun. Then we have a gosh, I don't remember the name of this kit from Let's Plan It, but I really, really love the cute little houses and the artwork. And in this is where I could kind of get into adding things in my day to day, but it was sporadic. It wasn't really very, very consistent. Then we have my watercolor pastel pumpkins. And this was also the weekend that I went to Kelowna with my parents and my sister. So I did I did a better job of filling in the day-to-day, -day, but I also did a little bit more as well here on the day-to-day -day as well. I just said as well three times. <laughs> then we have another fall collection from According to Allie. Honestly, I love her stickers and they're great from the way that I use alley stickers. I normally decorate at the top and then just in a few odd places. And then I do more decorating within my daily pages, which I will show you soon. Then we have stickers from Let's Planet. I really was, no, this is not from Let's Planet. This is from Pretty Little, Pretty Paper Studios or Pretty Little Studios. I had purchased these back in 2022 and I really wanted to get into the habit of using my stash rather than buying more stickers. Then we have stickers from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop mixed with, according to Allie's, Alcohol Ink Washi. And then the desk collection. This one was a collaboration with Bless Kit Canada. They wanted me to create a collection that they would also sell in their shop. So this was the first wholesale order. This collection was the first wholesale order that I've ever had. So I'm very, very proud of that. Then we have the November collection from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. And you can see that I'm trying really hard to use the days, but most of the time I just fall off doing it. The, I love the neutral colors, but if you look at it from where I'm standing, it does kind of look a little flat. So I do like to experiment with a little bit more color. And there we go, more color. We've got stickers from According to Allie that I mixed in with some of my ink swatch stickers as well. And I think the combination of the two look really, really pretty. 
Then we have my, oh gosh, the Holiday Vibes collection. These were so fun to paint because they weren't ones that I was, are, okay, here. When it comes to creating collections for my shop, I'm always, or there are times where I feel overwhelmed by the concept of getting everything perfect or feeling that my art isn't good enough but this collection was just so fun to make and re I was really really happy with the way that it turned out it's so cute and I love all the colors it's still holiday vibe without being your stereotypical holiday colors then we have some holiday blooms from according to Ali I really love her blooms I think they're great for being able to decorate the weekly spread as well as the daily and then some washi from Oh my gosh, what is the name of this shop? It's awful because I, oh, Simply Gilded. I haven't purchased washi from Simply Gilded in a while. I think I went through a phase where I purchased every time there was a new release and then I realized I wasn't using them that fast, so I did not need that much washi. Oh, what I remember from this though is that I used ink from Ferris Wheel Press to create headers just the way that Katie had in her spread and I really love the way that those colors match exactly with that. Then we have my pine cone collection and you can see here really that I am filling in the day today. I think what prevented me from using the space like this was that I felt like anything under the work section had to be work related, but I have a whole other separate work planner so I'm not going to keep work stuff in here. I'm going to put stuff in here that happened while I'm here at home while I was working. So for example, um, you know, the letters from Santa on my lunch break I took Lucy for a walk I was able to buy a new printer online things like that so I keep track of everything that happens during work that may not necessarily be work related and I love the look of the spread now that it is fully complete then we have my nutcracker spread this was so fun to create that nutcracker one of the things I love about this nutcracker is that you know how you see nutcrackers and they're very rectangular very square my nutcracker has curves <laughs> and I love that and then being able to fill in even for example at work that day I did all the year-end reviews and we had a food data meeting that went well so I was filling this in both with work related things and how I felt about work and I really love the way that this turned out and I think this was the start of me being really comfortable filling out my spread this way. Then we have Christmas week so the last week in my Hobonichi cousin using my watercolor Christmas lights and this one is just full-on emojis and little stickers but it's so fun and it keeps track of even just the little things like I went to the post office I folded laundry I gave Lucy a bath and family dinner you know my mom picked up Henry and I upload or edited and uploaded a monthly setup video so some people are like well there's not a lot that goes on in my day-to-day -day life if you feel like it's worth remembering then put it in here even if it's something small and the more that you get into that practice, the easier it will be to start keeping things in your weekly spread. So there is the turning the page, which I decorated when I first set up my planner. And then now into the daily pages. So this is the July currently page and the currently page is where I try and keep track of my currently inked as well, any, as, well as any books that I've read that month. And this was decorated with the tea and macarons collection. And as you can see in July, I did not do any reading, complete any reading of books. So there's my, I'll just flip through these. This is from, these are stickers from The Giving Girl. And that's my panda collection. <laughs> and strawberries. And the panda, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And strawberries. And then the weeks that I decorate with JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop, I do these ink swatches using my currently inked because JoJo's luxury advent calendar didn't have enough stickers to be able to fill these pages and that's when I get a chance to do my currently inked as the decoration and it did bleed through a little bit. Then the farmer's market collection and other stickers from according to Allie. Then more stickers from the giving girl which I really really like. They're so so pretty. And then 
the journaling collection here and then we have August so I was able to put down that I had read a book and then there's my currently inked and this is the watercolor iris collection my oh gosh what was this collection called I forget I'm gonna look it up but this was also a collection that I had done and I really love the packaging of this as well then we have the journaling more in that collection which is again really love that this one is from winterfield studios i had so many of her stickers from the from when i purchased after the planners going to plan conference and i really wanted to use them then traveling or road trip stickers from according to ali which were perfect for our week in ottawa and then ink swatching. I tried to do something different with the ink swatching for the month of August and I like them there. And then I like doing these swirls as well. So I was trying to experiment with different ways to do that. And then we have some more stickers from the Giving Girl before we head into September. September I was going to do, or I did do 30 inks 30 days and realized I had only put 25 squares here. So I didn't actually fill this out but I did read two books in September and I love flipping through this because it shows all the inks that I used in September. Now for 30 inks, 30 days, there really is no rule. You just try 30 different inks and a new ink every day for the month of September or any month that has 30 days. And you can do whatever you'd like with that ink, whether it's just a little swatch or if you want to do a journal entry or transcribe, it's completely up to you, but really the main rule is that you try a new ink every day for 30 days. And it really allowed me to explore, I got so many inks this year, it allowed me to explore a few more inks that I hadn't had a chance to. And then after that, I decided there were a few inks that I wanted to explore a little bit more, and I went into October doing that. So there's my October currently page and then the October using stickers from Let's Plan It and then stickers from my oh gosh the the is it the Autumn Farm collection is this really bad and then the watercolor pastel pumpkins and the farm and the pumpkins and that was when we were away in Kelowna and then stickers from Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop I believe that's Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop I think. And then stickers from According to Ally. Yes, these are from, no, this one's from, oh, I cannot remember. No, this is Ally or Doja's Free Paper Shop. Yeah, it's According to Ally. Oh my goodness. And then from Pretty Little Studios. Trying different things here, which did not really work out for me. And as you can tell, because I completely forgot to do it on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then stickers from According to Allie for Halloween. I actually really like how this turned out. I don't normally decorate for Halloween, but this one was really fun to do the fence and then the gravestones and the ghosts and the trees. And I like the symmetry as well between like in the bottom half and a little bit with the trees. I really like the way that these two spreads turned out. And then, wow, that I didn't complete that. That's 30 inks, 30 days for November. And there were books that I read there as well. But really, I love being able to do 30 inks and adding some stickers in there too. But trying out different inks and swatching them every day. And it's just so fun, but a great and simple way to decorate your planner. If you're really into the fountain pen inks, this is a great way to go through a whole bunch of ink and experiment with all of them. Then we have the December. Currently, I didn't actually put down any books that I had read in December. I don't think I did get through any in December. I don't think I did, but all the inks for December, and this is my gingerbread collection, then the watercolor, no, watercolor holiday vibes, stickers from According to Allie. These were some of her Christmas presents, and I really liked the color scheme of those. Then my pine cones, my watercolor poinsettias with the pine cones and then the nutcracker and then I love these the pastel nutcracker nutcracker and you'll notice that I don't have pictures in this one normally I print off pictures and they're all in here but again I think I fell off that along with you know falling off the actually filling out my weekly planner I fell off the adding pictures here and I'm okay with that I don't 
part of me just doesn't want to do all of that back planning and putting in all the pictures. I'm okay with how things are. Maybe I'll want to do that and add that in the future, but right now I'm okay with it as it is. So then in the back here, I wrote a list of Christmas presents. I had packages that were coming in, but I actually ended up using this portion, the My 100, to list all of the packages. And I think this only started really in the middle of the year where I would write down what was on its way or what I had ordered. The highlighter or the, I would do the clean color dot or the zig clean color dot over here to mark that it had been shipped and then checked it off once I had actually received it. I really liked this as well. I didn't write specific dates on here, but I really liked being able to have that visual of what was coming. And I'm trying to incorporate something similar to my sterling ink. All right, so that is oh, the flip through of my Hobonichi for July through to December of 2023. I I'm sad to be leaving this behind, but I know that moving into my Sterling Ink A5, there's not gonna be too many differences, which is what I like. The format is gonna be generally the same. So I feel a little bit more comfortable now moving into that from here. All right, once again, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have yourselves a great day.